Hi, my name is Boris and in this video I'm going to show you five awesome features of Ableton's Echo Effect. It's an analog style delay which gives you an incredibly warm and musical sound. Before we get into the video, if you like what we are doing on this channel, make sure to subscribe. We've got more content about Ableton coming up. If you'd like to learn Live 12 with all the foundations of music production, check out our beginner to advanced Live 12 start to finish course and make sure to also check out the everything bundle collector's edition which includes all of the courses sound packs and project files in our store and to see all of that check the links in the video description all right so let's get started first of all we have this clip right here let's just play it dry and then we're going to be adding echo to it and now with echo Sounds like a simple delay, but actually, if we take a look at this modulation tab, Echo really gives you a lot more character than a standard delay effect. So let's first of all, just preview the delays. So I'm just turning up the dry wet knob. So I hope you can hear that we have a slightly chorusy sound. That's because we're using this modulation section and we are modulating the delay and we're modulating the filter as well with these two sine waves. And if we exaggerate this effect, start, it starts sounding like this. And without this effect, it would sound like this. So we are just mixing it in slightly. And that just adds that little bit of warmth that uh, just makes our delay sound much more analog. You can, of course, experiment with all these different shapes here. So, for instance, the triangle wave is surely going to sound really cool, maybe even if we offset it. And we can also slow it down. And if we increase the filter modulation, it also gives us a bit more stereo width because the left channel is going to have a slightly different filter curve than the right channel and we are still getting this modulation and it just sounds beautiful. If we just mix this in, it sounds really natural because if you have a natural echo the repeats are not usually a perfect copy but they have a lot of imperfections so you can add these imperfections here in the modulation tab now let's take a look at the second example and we have this clip right here also let's play it dry And now let's enable the delay. All right, so let's take a look at the character section and we have all of these enabled. So let's just go through each of these, starting actually with the noise. So let me disable the rest. As you can probably hear already, the noise just introduces noise in the background. If we increase it all the way, it's just going to be very loud. And then we can use the morph control to choose between different kinds of noise. So I'm keeping it somewhere in here and I'm just adding it just over 50%. And to make sure that the noise isn't just playing all the time, I have a gate set up. So you can enable the gate. And now, as you can see, we don't have it when the sound is not playing. It's great at adding more of these analog artifacts. If we increase the noise, So setting up noise just adds to that warmth and adds just a touch of imperfect character to echo. And gate just makes sure it's not playing all the time, basically, in the background. Now, wobble is pretty self-explanatory, just adds pitch wobble. And 
and then with morph you can choose between different types of wobble so let's just solo our effect maybe without noise so as you can hear the higher we go here the faster it's becoming so maybe let's just keep it somewhere quite low All right, and now another setting that we're using here is ducking. It's also perfect for vocals, and we're going to test it out later. Here we are just ducking whenever the sound is playing. So we're just setting up a threshold, just like a side chain, and we're sort of side chaining the delay to the source signal. So it makes sure that whenever we actually have the signal playing, the delay isn't as present in the background, and then it basically fills in the gaps sort of between our sounds. And then we also have repitch, and this changes the behavior of the echo effect when we are tweaking the time of delay. So let's tweak it now. And now let's enable repitch. And if you'd like to add these analog style repitches, uh, you can just increase the smoothing time and just manipulate the time of echo. And if, especially if we increase the feedback, This can lead to just some interesting sound design possibilities. All right, so that would be the character tab. Let's take a look at another track over here. This is just a simple clap made with the drum synth in Ableton. And let's just put echo on it. So I hope you can hear that we don't only have delay, but we're also using the reverb section. But what's interesting is that the reverb isn't added to the source sound, but to the delays instead. So you can kind of smooth out your delays. You can add a short delay, like in the post or You can also try using the feedback mode where if you go all the way up, it just creates reverb feedback. So reverb can also sound quite interesting and it can make your echoes a bit smoother sounding. All right, next up we have a synth loop. Let's play it without echo. And then let's just play it with echo and just notice this filter section and hear how the repeats are affected by the filter. I hope you could hear that we have a low pass curve here. Let's just hear the delay. It would sound like this without the filter. But we're just having a low pass curve to just make it more subtle sounding. And with the high pass, you can just clean up the low end as well. So what's cool about this filter is that each repeat is processed again and again. So if we have a very long feedback, it's just going to keep on filtering the delays and it's just going to be darker and darker with each repeat. So let's hear like a long feedback.
All right, so I hope you could hear that the first repeat had a bit more higher frequencies than the next ones. And to show you another example of the Docker in use, we have a vocal track here, and we are using this echo with the ducking to just introduce the echoes in between these vocal phrases. So we're making sure that our echo isn't interfering with our vocal when it's playing, and then it's just filling in the gaps. So let's hear this without the echo. Standing in the rain, feather down in my brain. And with echo now. Standing in the rain, feather down in my brain. brain, 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 brain. Couldn't win the game, but I might try again. If I Right, and without the ducking, it would just clutter up sort of our vocal. Standing in the rain, feather down in my brain. And you can achieve something in between as well. Standing in the rain, feather down in my brain. Right, so that's a very simple use of the ducking, and it's beautiful, and it works wonders on vocals. Now let's take a look at the last track. Here we have a simple ambient swell pad. Let's hear it. And I'm just enabling echo. We are in the mid-side mode. We're using a different delay time on the mid-channel, so anything that is not stereo, and we are using a longer delay on the sides. So the stereo signal is receiving a longer delay, and as a result also the feedback is going to be a bit longer. So let's hear it. So the mid-side processing mode, it just processes the mid-channel and the side-channel independently, so make sure it's just unlinked. So that's just one use case, I'm choosing a shorter mid-delay and a longer side-delay for these bouncy echoes on the sides and it just gives you way more control. Normally you would have to set it up just on separate layers, but here you can, for example, make the mid-channel a bit cleaner and have the sides really spacious with the echo. All right, I hope you'll find this video useful. Make sure to check out our Music Production Academy with lots of start-to-finish courses on making tracks in various genres. And if you'd like to learn Ableton 12 with all the foundations of music production, check out the Beginner to Advanced Live 12 start-to-finish course. Make sure to also see the Everything Bundle Collector's Edition, which includes all of the courses, sound packs and project files in our store. And to see all of that, check the links in the video description. Make sure to subscribe to our our channel. If you enjoyed this video, leave it a like, write us a comment, and I will see you in the next ones.